everyone. Um, I certainly appreciate the uh, invitation to not only be out here in West River, but to uh, come to the powwow today. It, uh, it, it really is a reminder that we are all together, we all one. It's the powwow that gives us an opportunity to celebrate our collective past and to look into our collective future with hope. My name is Matt McClarty. I'm running for the Public Utilities Commission here in South Dakota. The Public Utilities Commission is a uh, regulatory group that uh, works on behalf of the consumers of South Dakota, working with various uh, energy interests across the state, as well as uh, tele telecommunications and uh, some other opportunities like that. What first drew me to this race is that I believe the Public Utilities Commission can be a lot more than it is. Within the Public Utilities Commission in Sioux Falls, or in, in Pier, you have a group of, of dedicated employees, people who are experts in the energy industry and understand the ins and outs of regulation. You've got attorneys at this place. They do a lot of good work on behalf of the consumers. We also know that South Dakota, amongst other things, is the fourth windiest state in the nation. And yet we're 26th in actual production. And that's unacceptable. I think that the Public Utilities Commission is a perfect jumping off point to utilize the knowledge that is in that office to create plans for South Dakota and where our energy needs are going and the plans to get us there within the next 10 to 15 years. What I want to do is I want to, I want to be elected to your, as your Public Utilities Commissioner, go there and begin conversations with not just our big energy interests, our, our rural co-ops, consumer groups, but also our tribal leaders on how we can utilize South Dakota's natural resources to make South Dakota a leader in energy production in, in, the, in the United States. I think that most people are aware that within the next 10 to 15 years, going at the rate we're going, the United States is going to face a major crisis in energy. Now let's back up a few years. Okay? We knew that gasoline was going up. We knew that gasoline was eventually going to hit $4 a gallon. And we did nothing about it. And look what that's done to our economy. Now, you couple that with people trying to heat their homes, trying to heat their refrigerators on. And we're talking about a massive crisis. Right now in South Dakota, you can drive any direction you want. You can go to Montana, to North Dakota, to Minnesota, to Iowa. And you can see what happens when a state makes a commitment to renewable energy. When they decide that this is going to be the solution and we're going to get ahead of this, South Dakota needs to make that commitment. We have got to put, start putting in places the plans to get us there. What we need to do is bring together people of all walks of life, of all backgrounds, of all knowledge bases to figure out the best way to get us from here to there. That's why I'm calling for, in my literature, which uh, some of you have on your tables, a plan called Power Up South Dakota. Within 10 years, I want to develop South Dakota's wind energy to where it should be. Within 10 years. Most people, thank you. Most people, especially in big energy, believe this can't be done. But I would just point out that in the early 60s, a man said within 10 years we will put a man on the moon and we did it. We are capable of doing it. We simply lack the will. We've got to bring that kind of commitment if we're going to solve the big problems here. 
In a previous career, I worked for the uh, South Dakota Farmers Union as their government relations director. We worked very hard to get the renewable fuel standard through the legislature in Washington, D.C., working very hard with Tom Dashley, John Thune, Tim Johnson, and Stephanie Herseth Sandler. And it was a fight, but it's a fight worth taking on. It's a fight about the future of not only South Dakota, but of our country as well. One need only look at the ethanol industry to understand what happens when, when government creates the policies and entrepreneurs are allowed to move through the system to create a brand new industry. Ethanol is a shiny example in South Dakota, and we can have that in wind too. But we've got to put the pet plans in place right now to make that happen. Part of this is not just the future of, you know, Sioux Falls or Rapid City. We're talking about an economic impact that stretches from border to border that can positively affect not only our rural communities throughout South Dakota, but our tribal lands as well. Because we're all in this together, and we've got to stay focused on solutions. And that's what I want to do as the next Public Utilities Commission. It's been a, a great honor to be able to, to speak to you here tonight. It's been a great honor to be up on stage with these gentlemen. This November, we're going to have a big choice. Barack Obama has made a commitment to renewable energy in America. We need to make that same commitment. We need to start looking towards the future, how we build the next great economy for South Dakota, and how we do it in a way that includes all South Dakotans. So this November, I would very much appreciate your vote. Thank you so much for allowing me uh, to come here tonight and, and share this event with you. Have a great time with the rest of the powwow. Thank you.